Howdy champs, my name is More Than People. Today I'm going to show you this awesome looking shadow effect that you see out here in the uh, preview window. People for this tutorial have actually used codepen.io that will open up an online editor and uh, yeah so this is the preview and I'm going to do the whole project almost from the very beginning. I'm going to leave some code as is and I'm going to destroy or remove a bit of the code. I'm going to redo it so you'll understand things a lot better. Alright, uh, see the way code pen actually works is this is the uh, preview window. Uh, basically what you see in the browser. This is the HTML section. I'm not going to uh, touch it at all. I'm going to leave it as is so you can notice that we have an opening div tag with the class of box. Uh, the closing div uh, out here. We have the H2 element inside which has some text which says awesome shadow effect. All right. So let's close the uh, HTML pane and let's bring up the CSS pane. And this is the CSS people. So we have the body with some margin and a background color of uh, hashtag CCC, basically this mild gray color. Uh, then we have some rule for the div with the class box. This is the div with the class box people which has a background color of ghost white. Uh, we have another rule div dot box colon before colon after. Basically I've used the pseudo element colon before and colon after. Now for, for people, uh, for guys who don't know what uh, pseudo elements colon before colon after actually do they see the word pseudo means fake so basically uh, you see the shadow out here and the shadow out here have been inserted using the pseudo elements now pseudo elements uh, actually do not exist have been created are actually created only through the CSS that's why they're called pseudo or fake right because they don't uh, in fact exist in the HTML have been created by the CSS so now what colon before colon after rules allow you to do is create some content before and some content after your element so what I've done is I've created some content before the box and some content after the box what is that content is that you know the shadow on the left edge and the shadow on the right edge right and uh, yep so if you really want to see where the shadow is coming from what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna momentarily just switch the C index to a plus right so you see I've created those structures and I've added some shadow to that right and uh, in fact let's try 10 px out here that will probably look more prominent right yep so uh, you see as I promised you I'm gonna redo the whole project almost from the very beginning so we'll get a much better idea so let me start doing it all over again let me delete this rule completely and this rule completely uh, as well as this rule completely right I'm gonna leave this rule as this it's very easy to understand so basically the body of the document should have a margin of 20 px uh, basically creating cushion all around and a background color of C C C very good and the HTML, uh, HTML is pretty straightforward people uh, we have a div with a class of box um, and then s an H2 element inside which says awesome shadow effect okay so let's code out further let's use colon before colon after and let's create the shadow effect now this div which has a class of box should have some width some height so let's start with the width and height so let's say width 350 px or whatever you would decide in your case and a height of let's say uh, 80 px a background of let's say ghost white it's a very mild gray color people right As, and you can see out here in the preview window that things are taking place a padding let's say of uh, 10 px right and uh, but after yep and I need to give it a position property of relative 
it's very easy to create this effect people just follow me word by word just code out the way I'm actually doing why I'm actually keeping it relative because the next rule that I'm creating I'm keeping an absolute alrighty so I think I should jump to the next rule now which is uh, which targets the box but uh, you know it's a group selector people multiple selector it, it targets the div colon before colon after right now uh, as always whenever you use the colon before colon after rules you need to use the content now the trick out here is that you use empty content so just empty quotation marks but you need to specify it right then uh, the content I'm, uh, that I'm creating let's give it a width of let's say a width of 30% uh, a height of uh, let's say 20 px keep looking at the preview pane people this area to see the changes that are actually happening let's say a background which matches the background of the body so which is uh, hash ccc all right uh, position set to absolute absolute all right now see uh, that we have inserted two bands people one before one after all right one is out here the other one is out here keep uh, you know this is the content that we are creating using the uh, colon before colon after rules right and thereafter I'm gonna use the top and the left properties so let's say top of uh, 60 px keep noticing the change you see the two bands have actually merged uh, left of let's say 2 px you see it shift now and let's apply some uh, box shadow let's say uh, 0 px for the x-axis 20 px so it's shifting it towards the bottom for the y-axis alright uh, see the shadow that's actually being created keep uh, your focus out here people uh, let's say uh, blurriness of 10 px and a color of let's say 666 right so see the effect that that has uh, been created out here people at the same time people I would like to give it uh, I would like to just tilt it a little bit so dash since I'm working with the uh, chrome right now dash webkit dash um, transform trans you, you see when you use the transform property you need the dash webkit dash vendor prefix for chrome and safari dash or dash for opera if you need it uh, dash ms dash for ie and dash mz dash for mozilla just check if you actually need them and this is gonna be I'm gonna rotate rotate this by let's say um, minus 4 deg 4 degrees you see see the tilt out there people in fact the top should be 70 let's let's keep it at 70 yep that's exactly uh, you see this shadow now the problem here is uh, this this content that we've created right actually is over the box and I would want it to be under the box so you can easily achieve that by giving I'm gonna make sure that I give it a Z index okay a Z index of let's say a very high value so that everything is over and above it no matter what 999 and there you go alright there you go you can actually see the shadow has actually now fallen under the um, under the box let me just uh, recheck if everything is just fine in fact uh, in fact I think the shadow should be more subtle so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna change the height of the content that I've created to let's say 15 px not uh, 20 px now that's actually more subtle yep and also probably darken the shadow a little bit let's go with uh, 555 uh, or rather I think I'm happy with 666 alright so 
this rule that we have created target targets both the uh, div dot box before and div dot box after so basically it's a group or a multiple selector we don't need the js uh, pane or the js section at all right just need the cs just need to see the css section right now all right let's save the uh, the pen or basically the document that we've created so far alrighty now you see uh, as we saw that we had created content for both the before and after and they're actually overlapping they you know over each other so they they are merged into one and I'll show you they merge into one it's just one single content that I've actually created okay so how can we actually separate them in fact uh, I'm gonna show that to you I'm gonna keep the Z index positive for some time so you can see how what I'm doing right now now what what I need to do is I'm, I need to create another rule uh, div dot box but this time colon after so creating some content after and I'm gonna make some changes out here so that we can actually separate the content of the band that has been created with the shadow that's very actually it's very easy to do that now this time instead of using the uh, left property I'm gonna use the right property see the left and right properties work only if your um, if the position property is actually uh, anything but static alrighty so I'm gonna use the right property and I'm gonna set it to let's say 2px from the right so basically this will shift the band to the right hand side in a moment but at the same time you you need to uh, ensure that you need to tell the browser that keep the left at auto so adjust the left automatically so there you see that shift people see the band gets separate now you know it just shifts now and uh, at the same time I would need it to tilt this uh, you know this small band that has been created I'm gonna just copy this bit I'm gonna come out here I'm gonna paste it like so and uh, I'm gonna ensure that this is not minus but it's actually plus see the way it actually tells people and uh, I think I'm ripe to turn it back into minus like so and this will uh, you know push the the content under the division and uh, we're actually done it's that simple people it's absolutely that simple why we kept it absolute because you see this absolute is relative to this uh, position property this is relative right this is absolute so this content is uh, relative to this uh, box this box which is the diff right z index controls the stack order people z index a negative z index takes it lower down positive brings it uh, up above the stack so keeping it uh, at a very high negative value ensures that uh, everything is actually dumped underneath everything else All right. so people you see this awesome shadow effect was just a cakewalk done uh, within minutes you know just a snap of a finger just follow me along people I can understand that sometimes you know certain concepts can be a little difficult to understand especially the colon before colon after the way they actually create fake uh, elements that's the reason why they're actually called pseudo elements they are fake so this shadow effect was actually created using the colon before colon after this is colon before shadow this is colon after shadow right so if you really have difficulty understanding the theory just follow my code along people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a link to my pen this link so you will get the code and everything else that you would actually need to just copy and paste sometimes it's okay not to understand the concept uh, you know completely and just replicate the effect so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, you like this tutorial um, please thumb the video up if you liked it uh, uh, please subscribe and uh, keep coming back for more and more tutorials from me you have a good day bye bye peace